Boy, isn't this pretty. Well, what we got here today, I'm just gonna share a little information with you. And uh, what I've got here is this beautiful little bottom. I got a little creek bottom here and I got two big ravines on each side, or I mean two hillsides on each side of this little ravine and creek right here. And on each side, these deer love to bed up in here. Now typically, this is a spot that I never really hunt, okay? It's a little far back in. This is a great staging area for the deer. And typically what I do in an area like this is probably what I'm going to do this year in here, I'm going to scratch this up and I'm going to plant some clover in here, okay? And I probably will hardly ever hunt it, but we have a stand and a blind not too far up this way here to the south. And what I try to typically do in a situation like this is I'll put a camera in here all through the summer and uh, into the early fall here and and I'll catch almost every buck in this whole area right here in this whole block of timber and different properties around here they'll all walk this at some point and so this is a great place to monitor I've mowed a path all the way back in here to easily get in here when it's time for me to check the camera and I'll, I'll check it and get out I'll monitor this plot once I get it planted in here and probably what I'm gonna put in here is Antler King uh, Game Changer Clover and uh, but anyways, once I kill the grass in here, now that I'm getting it mowed down with my 10 foot bush hog right here, um, I don't know if you guys know, but that is a 10 foot bush hog or for me, poor mower. The key to this though, is how the bedding is on each side of this. And we're hardly ever gonna hunt it. Now there will be some times that we will hunt this spot in the rut. And the only times I will hunt it in the rut is on super cold mornings or like those frosty mornings, early fall, like pre-rut, when the thermals are rising up out of the bottoms, okay? Evenings, I would never even dare hunt a spot like this because your thermals fall in the evenings and they'll just go right into these deer. But in, you can get away with certain days on those calm, rising thermal days. If you watch the weather forecast and you time it with the red moon, now one thing you wanna do is uh, check your moon guide. If you, don't, if you guys don't have a moon guide, you want to get one of those because the moon guide will tell you when the red moon is of each month and as that red moon starts setting in towards pre-rut and rut those are key times to hunt these areas where deer stage in between bedding areas heading out to feeding sources now what we're going to do is actually give them a little food here so that will make it even more key but you can hunt this spot on those mornings when those thermals are rising and you can get away with it for about the first three to four hours of the day and hopefully that's enough time to catch a real big bruiser in this spot if we want to. The other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start a Black Widow mock scrape in here. Now they've already got one right here where they've already been scraping in this spot. So you can see the tree limbs all busted up right there. So I'll keep that freshened up. And then what I'll probably do, one of the things I like to do here is I get, as I get, they get farther to the food sources, the main food source and fields out here, I'll have another scrape and I kind of create a scrape line and that's a perfect spot to, to pick one of those big bucks off checking one of those scrapes. Plus the other thing is you get those matriarch does up in here and those big adult does want to hit those scrapes also because they want to be, they're kind of dominant, they're territorial and you kind of want to take advantage of that. But anyways, this should end up being a really good spot. We'll probably do another video here once we get this all planted in here and so forth. But uh, just kind of sharing with you some of the stuff and how I pick a food plot placement, why I'm picking it here. And again, this isn't going to be a plot that I hunt a lot. This is just a specific timing. And we may never even hunt this. I may kill a deer and I may never even have to hunt this spot, but it's going to be here. The other thing it's going to do, it's going to keep my deer safe. It's going to keep my younger bucks staying in here in, in general. Um, it could be the one factor that gets another buck through to another year to keep it from getting to a neighbor uh, before they pound it before it's time. If you've got a little bit of equipment, you can, you can get away with making things like this. So, again, I hope you appreciate my 10-foot bush hog. That poor John Deere mower has made more plots than anything I've ever had. Um, it's like seven years old now, and it just keeps ticking away. But... Uh, I've got an actually bigger tractor that I use for tilling and all that, but this is such a tough spot to get back in here that this is what I use. So I make do with what I got.